Hey guys, welcome to today's video. On a day, I want to answer a question if it is possible to reroll here on completely bald head. And for you guys who are new to the channel, uh, remember to subscribe so you get notification about latest contents that I upload. And if you're new or subscriber, welcome back. My name is Alex and I'm previously a hair loss sufferer who is able to reroll back my own hair. And I'm also a certificate dermatologist. So in today's video, I want to answer a question about if it is possible to reroll here on completely bald head. And the answer to it depends on several factors and different contexts and scenarios, and I will talk about them in this video. But uh, before we start, like basically by bald head, I mean this area here, so this adrenaline alopecia area, right, this area here. Uh, and when it comes to, for example, checking a possibility or recovery, what you can do is to use microscope, right? And if you use a microscope and you see follicle activity in your scalp is still according, like for example, in terms of mineralize here, or like a more like a videos here, but there is still activity, then it increases chance of recovery. But if you are not seeing any here, so you see just empty follicles or uh, follicles that has a active sebaceous glands, for example, there is still yellowish dots in your scalp, but there is no follicle left, that is something that decreases possibility of recovery, right? So basically it means that follicles have been inactive for too long and likely they have been uh, like uh, gone for uh, forever, right? That basically means that there is a well, little chance of recovery. But if you do see that there is a values here, that there is some uh, growth activity going on, that again increases chance of recovery. So that's one way you can check up your scalp and see possibility for it. That being said, for example, there are a couple of different scenarios here as well. And one scenario would be that, for example, you have uh, hair loss that has been quite recent. Right. Let's say, for example, um, there is baldness, but the hair loss has been very recent. That could increase chance of recovery. Or you are, for example, in younger age. For example, in your, let's say, for example, some would start to lose hair in their uh, early twenties, and uh, then they have a lot of kind of thinning and bald areas, but there is still some follicle activity, and they start to approach this problem in their thirties, for example, in early thirties. They still may have a chance of recovery. Right. And for example, other possibility would be that one, for example, has done a hair transplant. And uh, basically what has happened is that the transplant hair have fallen out because of online problems on the scalp. But there is still higher chance of recovery because those uh, transplant hair, if you, one takes them from the back and transports them to the frontal area, for example, they are uh, more robust compared to uh, the original hair. So it is also that increases possibility of recovery. And last uh, thing is basically if someone has conditions such as alopecia alerta, right? And that's also something that can cause complete baldness, uh, but it is also something that can uh, basically lead that here are able to recover over time again if, the, for example, that alopecia alerta uh, basically becomes less intense and, uh, for example, is addressed by medication, right? So, so basically, there are a couple of scenarios that one can recover from this problem, but it all depends on the follicle health, uh, how active follicles are, and as always, it is best to address the heal loss as soon as possible. So when you are noticing heal are falling out, don't wait to address this problem. Don't wait to when you are, for example, having uh, more severe or more aggressive thinning in different areas like I did, because I did address my heal loss way too late, right? And that basically led to that I had a uh, psychological um, uh, effects from it, from the heal loss. I also had uh, to do a lot more in terms of my lifestyle, in terms of my approach, my treatment to the heal loss. Uh, because I just waited too long, right? So if one is addressing the heal loss as soon as possible, it increases odds of a full recovery, right? So the longer one waits, the harder it becomes, and the more measures, more, more things, more variables one has to address to actually be able to recover. So this is my take on this question about if it is possible to recover here on completely bald head. It depends on context, it depends on follicle activity, and depends on the treatment uh, on the basically timeline of this problem. And for you guys who are uh, watching this video on struggling with the heal loss, uh, and if you need help and guidance or support, you can schedule a call below this video. There's a link for it. Let's talk and find out what is holding you back, why you're not seeing results for regarding your heal loss treatment, and what you can do right now to recover your hair once and for all. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and see you next one. Cheers.